Swingers Club, Pole Dancing, and Punk in the Preds. Hey everybody, I'm Tony Masillas. This is Irregularly Scheduled Programming. Well, they call it the Cherry Pit. It's just an average split-level home in Duncanville, Texas. But on Friday and Saturday nights, the owners host parties for swingers, including a naked twister night. And now the town of Duncanville is trying to shut it down. There's a lot of traffic. There's noise. There are lights. Um, and this is what we're trying to address here. Jim Trulock and Julie Norris run the club. They don't buy the traffic excuse, and they say that they have the right to practice any lifestyle they choose. They won't stop me from having sex in my house. As for the patrons, they're supporting the cherry pit, and many of them are donating money to a legal defense fund for Trulock and Norris. The government needs to stay out of our bedrooms. I don't go into anybody else's bedrooms, and I don't want you in mine. Hey, that's a deal, lady. You know how filthy that floor is? Oh, hello. Well, this video of pole dancers on the New York City subway comes from a brand new website called Dare Junkies. It's exactly what it sounds like. Someone dares you to do something like pole dance on the subway or make out in the library. You do it, film it, and post it for a chance to win money. The concept is jackass meets YouTube. So how long before the first Dare Junkies lawsuit rolls in, huh? One month, maybe two? President of Iceland, line one, a teenage prankster from Iceland, which is right about here, if you were wondering, called President Bush on his secret phone line, the bat phone. How he got that number, no one knows, but he was able to answer a lot of questions from the White House about Oliver Grimson, who is the real president of Iceland, says he just looked up those answers on Wikipedia. Well, he got a visit from the police, but he's not expected to be in any real trouble. I'm spending Hanukkah in Santa Monica, wearing sandals, lighting candles by the sea. And finally, happy Hanukkah in Santa Monica or anywhere else. For the goys among us, there are just 14 shopping days left, so get back to work. See you tomorrow. Spending Hanukkah in Santa Monica, bye.